Here's your Forbes Daily Briefing for Thursday, March 14th. Today on Forbes, deep-faked celebrities hawked a massive Trump scam on Facebook and YouTube. The ad begins with a grainy but unmistakable video of Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. Soft, tense piano music plays in the background as he speaks. The fake, but seemingly real King, says, quote, We've been told again and again that we cannot vote for the man that did more for the black community than any other president. If a black man dares speak out in support of Donald Trump, a Democrat is always there to call that man an Uncle Tom, a House Negro, or even worse. The fake king continues for more than two minutes, praising Trump and trashing Democrats, as photos and short videos of black prison inmates, Democratic politicians, and scenes of civil unrest cycle in the background. Then, the voice changes abruptly and implores viewers to take a free poll to support former President Trump. Complete it, and they'll be sent a free Trump flag, it says. They'll need only cover shipping and handling. It doesn't mention the $80 recurring credit card charges they'll incur after checking out. When the potential so-called customers click through to receive their free Trump flag, they are routed through several intermediary websites to a final one that processes their credit card information. It explains, in very fine print, that by entering their card information, so-called customers acknowledge that they will incur a recurring charge for membership in a MAGA-themed club. When that charge comes through, it's almost always unexpected, according to three victims Forbes spoke to and several dozen Facebook comments left by others. It's also confusing, as it doesn't originate with the Trump flag site. Instead, it comes from a website they never visited. The FTC and Justice Department have referred to this practice as, quote, credit card laundering, and have pursued legal action against those who employ it. Ads for the Trump flag scam have been viewed more than 100 million times on Facebook recently, according to the company's ad library. One page running them has spent $1,500,000 in the past four months alone, making it Meta's fifth largest political spender this cycle. An account on YouTube has spent almost $800,000 to run nearly identical ads, which have been viewed more than 85 million times. It's unclear how many people were scammed or how much money they've collectively lost. The ad spend and scale of the operation indicates an amount in the millions. The Trump campaign did not respond to a request for comment, but there's no evidence that Trump or his campaign has any relationship to the scam. Fake King is not the only deepfake hawking this scheme. Other ads from the pages have featured deepfakes of Tucker Carlson and Donald Trump himself. The accounts behind the ads have also run hundreds of other non-political ads on Facebook and YouTube in recent months, featuring the deepfaked voices of Taylor Swift, Joe Rogan, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and other celebrities, claiming that viewers can receive $6,400 in free government subsidies if they simply call a number to enroll. The free subsidy claims were debunked by Reuters fact-checking unit in late 2023. Facebook and YouTube took them down after a comment request from Forbes. Scams targeting Trump supporters are common online. Last year, scammers used deepfakes to con people into buying thousands of dollars worth of, quote, Trump bucks, Trump-themed bills that they falsely believed would be usable as legal tender. Just last month, Trump scams lured seniors into losing hundreds of thousands of dollars, thinking they were investing in Trump-themed preloaded debit cards. The problem has gotten bad enough that the Trump campaign rolled out an official so-called endorsement seal to let people know which organizations and vendors are actually affiliated with the former president. A number of the free flag ads identified themselves as, quote, official, and implied coordination with the campaign. So who's behind the free flag scam? A Forbes investigation traced it through a tangled web of opaque and deceptive actors. There are those marketing the scam, including an advertiser engaged in a runaround of Facebook and YouTube's transparency systems. There's the company that occasionally does ship out Trump flags, which has its fingerprints on several hundred sham storefront websites. And then there is a rat's nest of LLCs, facilitated by a company that pays people a monthly stipend to establish shell corporations in their names potentially ruining their credit in the process. The pieces fit together in a way that minimizes each player's exposure to the other's misdeeds and helps them evade crackdowns from platforms, banks, and law enforcement. For full coverage, check out Emily Baker White's piece on Forbes.com.
This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.